Well, the repeats certainly are good for sports teams, but bad for restaurants when it comes to dirty dining. That's right. We have one place that found triple trouble with inspectors, plus a golf course restaurant that whiffed on its latest inspection. Here's 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. The third time is said to be the charm, but not for Food Express on Decatur and Oki. The Chinese restaurant is making its third appearance on Dirty Dining after the health district shut it down March 15th with 55 demerits and the imminent health hazard of no hot water. We just very much like to make sure we get you guys a chance to answer about these violations and the fact that the health district says you have a documented history of non-compliant inspections. Food Express was on Dirty Dining last August for rats, and this is the second time it's gotten more than 50 demerits. So there's there's a problem, and we don't want to just take the health district's word for it. We also want your perspective. Employees say they have to call the owner at his other restaurant. At Food Express, inspectors say onion, beans, and fish had to be thrown out due to unsafe temperatures. A food handler was seen eating, then donning a mask to start preparing customer food without hand washing and ice for customer drinks was stored in a dirty ice well in the sewer station in direct contact with brown mold. They ask us to step outside to speak on the phone with owner Jason He. Your restaurant is not dirty. He says the main issue was their hot water. There was an issue with the hot water, yes, but they also wrote you up for 55 demerits which is a whole bunch of other violations that include the food and the conditions in the kitchen. Food in the freezer was uncovered and subject to contamination. Inspectors saw a food handler eating directly over open food in the kitchen and excessive grease had built up between fryers providing good conditions to attract pests. According to the health district, there was expired onion mixture in the fridge dating back to mid-January. He says the chef put the wrong dates on food labels. Other violations included raw beef and chicken thawing next to each other while water was mixing between both. Cooked food stored in a greasy, reused cardboard box and an employee's cell phone on a food prep surface. So you're just saying that everything is fixed and you just want your customers to know that you're back to an A grade. Food Express was re-inspected March 18th and got a three demerit A grade. Because of its documented history of non-compliant inspections, it's now in the health district's administrative process, requiring intervention training and more frequent inspections with little room for error in the near future. We swing up to Mesquite for another imminent health hazard closure at the Oasis Golf Club on Palmer Lane. Its grill room restaurant was shut down March 16th for a rat infestation. Inspectors spotted rat droppings throughout the restaurant and in the dry storage area. Rats had defecated on a popcorn container, gnawed through food boxes and a bag of sliced almonds. They even chewed through packets of coffee brewer cleaner. Oasis Grill Room's records show their pest control service recently caught six live rats and covered the place in snap traps and glue boards. Other violations included a barehanded food handler who didn't wash before slicing vegetables. There was dried old food on the meat slicer and can opener, excessively dirty and greasy floors, walls, and equipment, and a food handler who was not knowledgeable in basic food safety. When we called Oasis, we were told the manager was busy and would call us back, but he never did. The grill room was reinspected March 19th and got a zero demerit A grade. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.